Hey, it is Beth Jones, and today we're going to demonstrate another great exercise that really works on being able to control your movement using your hips. So I would suggest having either a couple of yoga blocks, a couple of blankets or towels, or one of each, like I have, and you're going to go ahead and start with them on either side. So this movement is deceptively tricky. It looks easy, but if you're doing it right, you're going to feel it a little bit. And again, this isn't so much about just getting the reps in as quickly as you can. It's more about quality and control of what you're doing. So what we call it is, this is a shift and, and sit. So you're gonna start by sitting in kind of, not a total hero's pose, but um, on the backs of your feet. You don't have, you can have them nice and relaxed behind you if you need to adjust this and sit on, you know, a, a block or something, you can as well. So make this comfortable as you can for you. So from here, you're going to lift up your body and then move it to try to sit on that blanket on the other side. And then shifting again to sit down. So as you're doing this, you're not just kind of going side to side, but you're literally lifting and you don't have to come all the way up. We're lifting up and then controlling down. So you don't want to dump into this position. So you want to make sure you're bolstering your seat with this as high as you need to, to be able to control that movement down. Now, as we get the thing about blankets that's really nice for this is we can adjust the bolster as we get better with it. Yoga blocks harder to do. Um, so if you have a towel or a blanket, it's really what I would recommend for this exercise more than the block. But as you can see, I've lowered this. And so now I'm coming over. Can I get down? And it's also a really nice stretch on this. If I come on this side, oh, you can see there's space here between my bum and the side. I'm not ready for that much yet. So if you're worried about like breathing with this, you know, just kind of, you know, exhale more if you really want to think about breathing on the harder parts where you're feeling maybe there's pressure. Otherwise, just try to sink it naturally with your breath. Sometimes we don't need to overthink. So. We're going over and then shifting and sitting. So, you know, 10 times, you know, a couple times throughout the day is a really good one. Time to get this one in. So I hope this one is another fun one. You can add to your repertoire. Really good for pelvic floor work. Really good if you're having um, any hip issues and even down to the knees and things. This is just nice for that. So anyway, have a good day.